I'm going to go over how to program your, your NASA board with a DX6. And if you want to add GPS to it, how you can do that. Um, first thing we need to take this little guy out here. And this is the DJI NASA. This is the thing that has the little light on it right there. And we're going to take the cord that comes with the uh, software and we're going to plug this unit in. It's just Velcroed right underneath here. So we'll plug that in just like that. You want to make sure you have your props off. So you got to make sure that your radio is on. This is plugged in. Your props are off. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in this battery connection right here which is going to go like that and you'll hear some ticking or something maybe that's why you want your props off because if these motors decide to spin up then you could get yourself cut and be in a lot of hurt so um, i'm going to go ahead and get the software going this is the basic setup on how you do this you've got your gps unit here and you're going to plug that into the top part of your board right here there's a blank plug right there um, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in. You can only plug it in one way. These little tabs that are on the bottom here are going to go down. So we'll plug that guy in right there. Now we should be able to see the GPS when we go to the software. So as you can see, I already have the DJI software installed here, but we're going to go ahead and go to Firefox real quick. DJI NAZA. And let's see what comes up. There it is right there. Innovative flight control. Let's go to that website right there. And we're going to go to products. Go down here to NASA M. And ta-da, that's what we're going to be working on today. So you can go to downloads, which is right here. And you're going to download this user manual 2.2 or whatever the most recent version is. And then you're going to download this DAS, or sorry, NASA assist software. And we're going to, you can do a zip or an exe. So download that stuff, install the software on your PC. We're going to open that software up right here. Radio's on. We've got the black DJI little plug things plugged into the computer like I showed you. And then we're going to plug in a small battery into the DJI. So as you can see, it's recognizing that it's there. Now that we have the battery plugged in, this thing is not flashing right anymore. First thing you want to do is go up to tools, go to firmware update. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this with you right here. It says upgrade. I'm going to go to upgrade. Are you sure you want to? Yes, I am. All right, it's updating right there. The next thing it's going to, you want to make sure that your GPS is plugged in for this so it knows that you have the GPS. It's going to ask you to do, go ahead and power down so you can unplug your battery. Plug your battery back in and hit OK. Now we're going to go make sure that we're on the right quadcopter and that we're flying the right one. So we want to be the quad rotor X. Make sure that's highlighted. Click that. Um, we're going to go down to the TX Cal, which is going to be basically this is like your flight control. So as I'm moving these sticks forward and backwards, it's moving these so that the, we can see where they're going. And what we want to do is we want to calibrate it. So we're going to calibrate by pushing calibrate. And we're going to go ahead and I don't know if you can see this, but you want to move your sticks all around like this. Did you see that? I think you could. It's going to go like this. So all the way around, do that a few times, go back to center, put that back down and then go to finish. So now your radio should be calibrated. And if you are having some channels that are reversed, like my aileron needs to go right and right or right and left, right and left and if it's not doing that according to the stick like if you're going right and it's going the opposite way 
you can come over here and hit reverse. So now if I go right, it goes the wrong way. So you want to make sure that you hit reverse or normal to get all these to go the right way. And then just so you know, anything going up equals right. So down is left, up is right. And that's the way that you want it to be. So if I'm going down, that would be left. If I'm going up, that would be right on my elevator. And then on my throttles, the same thing. Up is going to be all the way to the right. And then on the bottom here, you can see that we have some a few different modes here. We have the GPS, we have the auto, and we have that set up on our gear switch. So we're, I'm going to take you through the radio and show you how to adjust that stuff. And then we'll come back to this. This is your DX6. We're going to be adjusting this switch right here. This is our switch right here. It's a two way. You're going to be in your gear right there. So this is a button and it's a dial so you can scroll back and forth like this or you can press down on it and it's a button so this is a scroll select right here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down to travel adjust go into travel adjust and we're going to scroll down to gear now by flipping the switch back and forth into each mode this is our switch right here and and then when i flip that switch highlight this and this is what's moving the manual when it's back I can move it back and forth like this I want it to be I don't want it to be like just on one click because there's like one two three four five six or so and you can see on the edge it kind of like is kind of iffy so you want to be right in the middle of that if you can and then when I flip that switch I can move this again and if I want to be over here in fail safe mode or if I want to be in GPS mode Again, I kind of want to put it in the middle of that. By adjusting this and then flipping the switch, you're getting to go to each one of those modes. So when I'm flipped down, I can adjust that. When I'm flipped up, I can adjust that. And I can change those settings to be wherever I want. So if I think I'm going to be out flying GPS, I can set it up to be in manual mode and GPS mode by flipping the gear switch or if I want it to be in the auto level mode where it's trying to level itself all the time, I can move that over to the auto level mode and it'll be in that. And then if I want to have that switch set as my fail safe, like if I get out of range and I can't see where it's going, I can flip that switch and it'll do the fail safe automatic come to home. So you can set it up to be wherever you want it to be. Um, I have mine set up with the GPS on it. I have it set up at GPS here. And like I said, I wanted to have that right about in the middle of the GPS and manual mode. I mainly fly manual mode, but it's kind of cool to show people the GPS and how it can do a hover hold when it's not windy. Um, so that's all basically in the travel adjust of this. So we've got all this stuff written and we're gonna go, or sorry, we're gonna go up here and write it. So now it's writing it to the board itself so it knows that that's what we want it to do. We're going to go in here and there's not much in here that we're going to mess with because we don't have all of the channels. If you did have the 8 then you'd want to refer to our, um, our DX8 video because that's going to make it a little more clear. Um, again, this stuff we don't do anything with the voltage. You just want to make sure that this is set up here to off. That is all you have to do. Everything else is kind of set up inside of the, the software and you can adjust all the stuff, all the reverse and everything in the software. So once you get that where you want it, click on that and we'll just go ahead and scroll up to list and then scroll up to main and that'll get you back out here to your main menu. This is what it should look like. That should be an airplane, not a helicopter. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with this kind of have all these things done and calibrated. You've got this stuff set up with your travel adjust. You're able to move back and forth and get into that stuff and uh, set up these modes however you like. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Have a good time flying. Be safe. Thanks a lot.